Hey, what's up with this? Your boy Brent C. So today I wanted to do a video about uh, y'all men not letting a woman woo y'all into uh, marriage off, basically off of empty promises. So I've had chicks in the past tell me shit like, oh, well, if you make me your girlfriend, you wouldn't have to worry about this or make me your girlfriend then and I'll stop going out to the club every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Or make make me your wife and I'll stop, you know, dancing like a thot in the club. Or I'll stop, you know, posting really revealing pictures or uh, videos or stuff like that, TikToks and all of that. And I just say fuck off. Because I'm just <laughs> like, I don't believe that shit because it's just like, the thing is, man, if it's in a woman and or man for y'all women out there listening that's uh dealing with a man like this uh it's it's just gonna be in them a ring a, a wedding band or an engagement ring is not going to magically make a woman or a man uh just stop cold turkey it's not because by nature they already wanted to do this stuff and nature always wins, like I say. So this has this is an internal battle that these people are dealing with. These people have some stuff to work on with themselves. And guys, I I firmly believe that you should not wife up a chick or women. Y'all shouldn't accept the marriage proposal until these people didn't fix these mistakes. They have. I believe in show and prove. I don't believe in. Uh, show and tell fuck that y'all need to go ahead and show me if i'm with a chick she's gonna have to show me you have to show me hey can you do this okay i need to see it's just like a job interview i mean you got a resume for a reason because you got other people telling them that you can do this job and then a lot of times you know some jobs will actually require you to maybe demonstrate or they'll ask questions that only a person that knows how to do this shit is really going to know the answers to. So, that's the thing about it, man. You got to be wife and material for me to actually want to marry you. And guys, y'all should... It's got to be 360. It just can't be, oh, man, she cooking clean, got good pussy. No, 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 no. She got to have all of the above. And then on top of that, she got to be able to conduct herself in public. It's just what it is. And in private. I mean, and guys, vice versa. I mean, if you out here uh, in a club, you know, hollering at chicks 24-7, going out every fucking weekend, you know, and let's say you stay with your old lady and you always out in the club, always out, always, you know, doing this and that, that's red flags for the chick, man. I mean, at some point you got to sit the fuck down. So that's my video for the day, y'all, man. Not, not real long. I just want y'all to be very careful on the chicks who y'all choose to wife up because uh, if you ignore the red flags, it'll come back and bite you in the ass every time because guys, at the end of the day, as a man, it's all about our respect. You know, women always try to deflect and say, you know, little stupid shit like, oh, well, y'all want the thigh chicks, y'all fuck these chicks and all that, but then y'all want to get a good girl and control us and no, 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 bitch, we're not controlling y'all. We're not controlling y'all. We're just enforcing our standards. We're enforcing our respect. So that's all it is. I mean, if I tell you I don't want you out in the club shaking your ass like a thought on camera and shit, bruh, I mean, it is what it is. I don't want you doing it. I don't want to see that. I don't want you posting that type of shit because that reflects on me. It is what it is. You know, oh, y'all so worried about y'all egos. But it don't matter. Y'all worried about y'all egos. That's why the fuck y'all post shit like that. Y'all posting it for attention. We tell y'all to take it down out of respect. You know, you doing shit like this shows no respect to your significant other if you're a woman. It just, it's just facts. I'm just having fun. That's fine. Have fun in the house. Have fun at a little house party with your girl, but don't fucking record it. I'm saying, because when they do shit like that, it's an invitation for guys to come holler at them. Oh, you're insecure. No, I'm not fucking insecure. I'm just smart enough to know not to allow you to put yourself in situations to where you just 
I'm not finna open the door. It's the same deal with girls trips and all of that shit. I'm not finna allow you to just open the door for you to just run out there and run free and do whatever the hell you wanna do. Just like these same women that say we're being controlling and stuff, they're the same chicks that wanna FaceTime us when we say we at the gym and they don't really believe us. These are the same chicks that wanna uh, text us a million times, what you doing, where you at? You know, oh, well, I thought you said you were leaving at this time. You leaving at 6.30, you told me you're leaving at 6.00. That's fucking controlling. That's fucking insecure. But these are the same fucking chicks that do shit like that. And then they have the nerve to call us insecure. And I, No, no, we're not fucking insecure. We're just not stupid. That's 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 shaming language. Women going to say shit like that. They're going to always use the words controlling, insecure and stuff when they feel like they can't get their way because they want to attack your ego and make you feel like you less of a man for checking them. And that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And a lot of women will try to hit you with, well, I'm a female, so I can, nah, fuck that. I don't give a damn what you are. You could be an alien. Look, if you if you can do it, bitch, then I can do it. I don't want to hear that shit. Ain't nothing insecure about checking your woman. Ain't nothing, nothing insecure about demanding your respect. Nothing's insecure about that. Nothing. 